And y'all, what's T girl? How y'all doing? Y'all on growing? Hmm. Girl. I know y'all like B girl. What's the T? What's the TB? Because bitch, the mug is looking. Girl, the five o'clock shadow girl. The bags under your eyes, darling. The lackadaisical greeting girl. What is the T girl? What's the matter, bitch? Girl, Siri's ass woke me up six o'clock this morning, bitch. That's the matter, bitch. This bitch, I don't know what your Siri does, but my Siri is a bitch. A hard head, don't listen to me ass bitch, right? I told this bitch, wake me up Tuesdays through fucking Saturdays at 6 o'clock because that's when I have to go to work. That's when I want you to wake me up. Why is this bitch dinging and ringing at motherfucking 6 o'clock in the morning on a Monday when I have off? Girl, I jump the fuck up and shit. I'm trying to turn this shit off, you know what I'm saying? And when you have your alarm on an iPhone or on an iPad, it's not like it used to be in the backpack days. You smack the alarm clock and shit. It snooze for 10 minutes. You come back to her, you know what I'm saying? With this shit, you wake up and it's and you like, oh motherfucker. Then you gotta crack the fucking Da Vinci code trying to figure out how to open your fucking case and shit. Um, how the fuck do I get a goddamn string on oh, fucking flappy piece? Oh my god, I can't. And then you gotta find the goddamn button and it's it's never the right way. It's never right here, bitch. That motherfucker. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Where is the goddamn... Oh, my fucking password. What the fuck is my damn... Okay. Like, once you go through all of that shit, bitch, you already awake, girl. You already up, girl. So now, like I said, I'm already up because Siri's ass woke me up, bitch. And I really think that Siri stands for seriously a bitch. You know what I'm saying? So this bitch wakes me up and shit. So I'm up now and shit. So I'm looking on YouTube and shit, being nosy, seeing what other YouTubers are doing, darling. So I'm like, oh shit, these motherfuckers already got their Grammy videos up and shit. You know what I'm saying? I expected to see at least the Scorpions up because the Scorpion don't play about his shit, girl. He don't play about his shit. When shit happened, 62 seconds later, that motherfucker's video was up. 62 fucking seconds later and the video will be an hour long i don't know how the fuck the scorpion defies motherfucking time like that girl i don't know how he does it i don't know how the fuck mikhail gets over there so fucking fast and they put up a video and it'd be an hour long and the shit be good it'd be brilliant girl i don't know what the fuck that's about somebody need to look into that shit and how he fucking doing it girl because sometimes i've seen sometimes the motherfucker post a video before shit happens I seen it, girl. Y'all better look into it. That's some alien MIB shit y'all need to look into. So, anyhow, I expect to see at least the Scorpions video up, right? I see the fucking Scorpion. Messy Miles video was up. Fucking Alonzo shit is up. I'm like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? Because when the Grammys ended last night, this was me. They were like, all right, thank you for watching the 50 whatever the fuck this is. Grammys, congratulations to all the winners. Thank you very much. This was me, girl. It's over. <laughs> I was not the fuck out, bitch, after the video. I was not about to set up a motherfucking camera and what's T, girl? How you doing, bitch? Let me talk. No, ma'am, bitch. I was in the bed. Okay, girl. But whatever, girl. These girls done posted their motherfucking videos, girl, and made me feel some type of way. I was like, girl, let me get on my motherfucking A game. Got me a little bit of quaff. A little bit of coffee, you know what I'm saying? Like my coffee, like my men, black and sweet. No cream, darling. No cream. Now, unless it's Puerto Rican cream. Bitch, I was trying to wink and both eyes closed. <laughs> you know what's earlier. So, girl, mother darling, mother darling, she was at the Grammys last night, girl, and I didn't even know Beyonce was going to perform until that night. Like, I didn't know shit about it. I didn't hear, nobody told me nothing, girl, but that's how I like to keep my Beyonce tea, girl. I don't want to know shit until shit happened, girl, because I can't handle it. I don't need to know nothing ahead of time, girl. So, anyhow. Beyonce's opening the Grammys and shit, and my girl came out, spun around on that motherfucking chair, girl, and yeah. It's too early, girl. My voice is not even near. I can't even yes the right way, girl. But you know where I was going with that, girl. Had my voice been with me, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yes, Beyonce, bitch. Yes, mother daughter. Yes, slay, bitch. Like, it was the best performance of the motherfucking night. Do you want my truth? Do you want my truth? Because I will give you my truth. Just this one motherfucking time, girl. Just this one time, girl. And I will deny it after this, bitch. I will deny it, girl. You are lying. I never fucking said that, bitch. I don't give a fuck if you roll the tape back to me, bitch. I don't give a fuck if you tweet me on Twitter, girl. I will not talk about it, girl. I don't give a fuck if you catch me in person, darling. We will not discuss, girl. But I will give you my truth this one time, girl. Because I swear I will deny it, bitch. I will be in denial of it, bitch. Okay, I will be like Mariah Carey in the petite section 
shopping for motherfucking dresses, girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm in denial, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Does it slide over me? Can you slide it over me? Okay, so it's on, though. It's on, though, right? Okay? Tuck this roll in. Tuck this roll. Nick, tuck the goddamn roll in. What the fuck you think I got you here for, motherfucker? Huh? Love? Huh? This dumb mother... Bitch, you here to tuck it and roll. Push the motherfucker in. Thank you. Stupid fuck. Don't even know his job. My truth. Beyonce came out. Sitting on the chair that she got from the local pizza shop. Sitting on top of a lazy Susan. And spun around in circles for three goddamn minutes. Three fucking minutes, girl. Girl, I'm telling you this, girl. This is what had happened was, girl. When she came out, she was on the chair, right? She was like, I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Right there. I was ready for that bitch to get the fuck up and start dancing, girl. Because after that was too much chair for me, girl. You're Beyonce. Get the fuck up and do Beyonce things on the stage. You know what I'm saying, girl? This bitch spun around. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. They said them get that them animals in my lights, flashing lights, girl. You know all of the words to shit, girl. So anyhow, right? She's still in the fucking chair. The first verse, still in the chair. So I'm like, okay, bitch, I'll give you that first verse, you know, whatever you may need to do, your little chair performance, that's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's all right. Second verse, bitch in the chair. Third verse, bitch in the goddamn chair. Fourth verse, bitch in the motherfucking chair. Bridge in the fifth motherfucking verse, and the way out, the bitch was in the fucking chair. So then bitch. She brings her husband out. Who's in the tuxedo? This bitch rocking a fucking one-piece fucking bathing suit. And he in a tuxedo. What the fuck are the two of y'all doing right now? So, for three minutes, this bitch spent sitting in the chair from the pizza shop on top of the lazy Susan, spinning around in circles, dancing. But not dancing, fidgeting. Because, bitch, I know the difference between dancing and fidgeting. That bitch was fidgeting in that fucking chair. And if you've ever gone to the welfare office and you've seen a bitch with all her fucking kids, girl, and they got to wait for that motherfucking EBT card to print the fuck out, girl, them kids be in that chair just... <clears throat> Mom, how long do we have to be here? Mom, what is your number? When do we leave? You know what I'm saying? I know that's what Beyonce was doing. She was doing I'm the waiting for my EBT car by my mother here fidget. That's what the bitch was doing. So she's sitting in this chair fidgeting. Offbeat. <gasps> Did y'all catch it? Was it just me? Or was Beyonce twerking and dancing offbeat? Girl, I couldn't do it, girl. I couldn't do it. For three minutes though. For three minutes. Three minutes of fidgeting and offbeat fucking dancing until Jay-Z came and collected the bitch, girl. The bitch, the bitch was in a chair the whole time. Like, the bitch, the bitch was in a chair the whole time. What in the paraplegic hell was that? What was that? Like, mother darling, I just didn't get it, mother darling. I just, it just left me confused, girl. I was so confused. Like, what is she doing? What's happening, girl? When's she gonna get up, girl? I didn't get it, girl, because Beyonce, darling, I thought, okay, this is the first performance since she released this incredible ass fucking album with these incredible songs, with these amazing videos. This performance is going to slay. This performance is going to be legendary. It's going to be legend in dairy darling and i don't give a fuck if you're lactose intolerant bitch deal you know what i'm saying i just thought you were gonna just have it like just have it girl just have at it bitch i thought it was going fucking slay girl and it did not girl it just left me confused like in the chair from the pizza shop spinning around on the lazy susan for three minutes your husband comes out he's in a fucking tuxedo and shit you know what I'm saying look like he just came from this high-end motherfucking event you're in a bikini with your hair wet looking like you were stranded on gilligan's fucking island somewhere you know what i'm saying like it the shit didn't match girl i was confused like i would have felt better if tom hanks came out from castaway and shit and came out and then performed with you because that would have made more sense okay i get it the two of y'all were stranded on the island and shit y'all met up i get it you know what i'm saying we were stranded we were stranded on an island wilson sing it you know then it makes sense bitch you know then it would have made sense to me girl but i was just so lost like why is he in a suit and this bitch in a motherfucking one piece with her hair wet. Why is she wet and he dry? Like, what is this shit? What's going on right now? Jay-Z came out. Jay-Z came out and collected Beyonce. Like, she was at the local bar drinking all night long. And the bartender called Jay like, you need to come here and get your wife, okay? She's drunk as fuck and she talking about driving home. You need to come get your wife. That's what it put me in the mindset of, girl. Because it just... That's, girl, let me paint the picture for you, girl, so you can fully understand where I'm coming from, girl. So, fast forward to the performance, right? Jay-Z and Beyonce, they had this big-ass motherfucking argument. 
Jay Z, Beyonce, that's how they argue, girl, right? So they're going back and forth. Pow, 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 pow. So Beyonce's like, you know what, Jay Z, fuck it. Fuck it. Hand me my freakum dress. So Jay's like, oh my God, here she goes, this goddamn dress again. Every time she get mad, she's gonna put the fucking dress on. <sighs> yes, motherfucker, every time I get mad, I'm gonna put the goddamn fucking dress on. You happy? You happy? Because now it's not a freaking dress, it's a fucking dress because you pissed me off and you made me cuss, bitch. Give me my goddamn dress, right? So Beyonce puts on a fucking freaking dress. And I'm going to tell you some other shit. I'm going to go out and I'm going to hang out with my best friends. And the are reminiscing how we used to flex in Texas. Don't be jealous. I'm going out. And the bitch storms out the fucking door. Pow! Slams the fucking door. So Jay's like, whatever, bitch. Go ahead. Right? Jay goes on about his motherfucking day, right? You know, big ass fucking meetings over here. Big, uh, you know, expensive ass meals and meat, whatever. You know, Jay Z's going about his fucking Jay Z day, right? So Beyonce now is at the local bar, right? She all the way at the last stool on the end, just going in. The bitch been there about four hours now, right? So the bartender, you know, he wiping down the tables and shit. He ready to close and shit, like. B, what? What? What the fuck you want? What the fuck you want? Please tell me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So she all the way at the end drinking and shit, right? So he's like, well, B, who gonna, who gonna take you home tonight? B, you gonna, you, you gonna have a few drinks and shit? You know, I hope you're not driving home. Who gonna take you home? Who gonna take me home? Who, who gonna take me home? Me, myself, and I, a guy in the end, I found out ain't no sense to now. Talk about it now. I've been home, best friend. You know what I'm saying? Bitch is smashed, right? So she gonna take herself home. So the bartender was like, all right, B, you gonna take yourself home, girl, okay? G give me one minute before you go, because I'm gonna give you a free drink. I'm gonna give you a free drink. You just stay right there, okay? You just stay right there, B. Hey, J, J, yeah, you need to come down to the bar and get your wife, because she is talking about driving home. She don't have a lot to drink. You need to come get her. So Jay-Z on the other end, he's like, yeah, I'll be there. That's my Jay-Z impersonation, girl. Don't don't come for me. So Jay-Z comes, right? So Beyonce, she been sitting in this motherfucking chair all night long, spinning around. Spinning around this motherfucking chair, right? Fidgeting and shit. You know what I'm saying? She doing all this shit in this fucking chair, right? So Jay-Z comes and he's like, all right, B, let's let's go home, bro. Let's go home. Wait, wait, you going home, Jay? Hmm? We going home, Jay? Jay, come here. Psst. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Beyonce's just smashed. She's like, bitch, just will you bring your, your drunk ass on home. Drunk enough! We be all night. I'm going home, Jay. So Pink comes out, tangled up in them damn curtains again for like the fifth time now, right? dangling over the crowd, holding on for dear life like Keisha Cole's career. So before Pink even came out, I sent out a tweet. I was like, here come Pink. Everybody look up. Show enough. Here she is up in the sky like motherfucking Tinkerbell getting ready to close Disneyland and shit, hanging above the motherfucking crowd for the fifth motherfucking time in a row, girl. Somebody need to pull Pink's ass to the side before her performance. Just grab the bitch, pull her to the side, Pink. bro. Girl, you know I love you. You know what I'm saying? Talk to her right there, girl. Right there. Eye contact the whole time. Girl, you know I love you. Okay? Remember, keep in mind, we're at the Grammys tonight. Not America Has Talent. Okay? We're not at America Has Talent, girl. You don't have to worry about... It was like Pink been x for the past three or four years on America Has Talent. And she was like, bitch, this year I'm going to have my Vegas show. Okay? I'm going to have my million dollars in my motherfucking Vegas show. Hand me them goddamn curtains. I don't give a fuck. Give me them motherfucking curtains. And the bitch went above the crowd. This bitch is swinging and swinging over the motherfucking crowd and shit, girl. I wouldn't play that shit. I wish that bitch would fall on me, girl. Don't you come down and fall on me, bitch. Because you'll be a falling bitch. Because I swear to God, I'll step to the side. I will step to the side and let you fall, girl. And she was like, oh, you going to step to the side and let me fall? Ha! <laughs> Psych! You thought I was going to hit you, didn't you? You know what I'm saying? The bitch just real Mission Impossible right there. She's just mission Impossible in this motherfucker. This girl got the crowd spinning her like She come down the crowd and it's like, bitch, get your ass back up there. Look at her. She's just spinning this shit, girl. Girl, I used to do the same shit Pink does, girl. In the backpack days, when I was only T90, girl, when I was only T90, I was like four or five years old. And I used to stay with my grandmother during the day when my mother went to work, right? So I'd be at my grandmother's house. I would get caught up 
and my grandmother's curtains, girl. I would get caught up and then I put one on this arm, one on this arm, and I'd be up in the motherfucking girl, I'd be up in the motherfucking air like this. Right, I'd be up in the motherfucking sky just hanging from the goddamn curtains, girl, because I've been coming from behind the curtain for years now, darling. I've been coming from behind the curtain for years, girl. Before there was motherfucking Beyonce, before Janet Jackson, before Madonna, girl, there was Chitara. And Chitara gave me my life, girl. You could not tell me I wasn't Chitara, girl. You could not. Girl, I'd be hanging from the motherfucking curtains like, Thundercats, Thundercats are Andalus, Thundercats are loose. I'm Chitara. Girl, I would be hanging from the motherfucking curtains, girl. So my grandfather would come into the room. He'd be like, Brian! Because he never called me Brian. I don't know why he wouldn't call me Brian. He called me Bryant. B-R-I-N-T. Bryant. He lived to be 99 years old. He was in my life until I was like 23. He called me Bryant up until the last motherfucking day. Bryant, and he went with Jesus. So, girl, he was like, Bryant! I'm a damn full lamb. Get out them damn curtains, right? So my grandmother would walk in. She was like, Hoxie, leave him alone. Just let him be. He just playing. I'm, I'm just playing. I'm just playing pop. <clears throat> Girl, I would just be hanging from the mother. I don't know what it was, but I could do no wrong in my grandmother's eyes. Like, everything I did, she was just like, leave him alone. Just let him do it. Just let him do it. Just let him. She must have known I was special, girl. She must have known I was special, girl. She just let me be. It's like, girl, let this little special retarded ass hang from the curtains. Leave him alone. Girl, she just let me do whatever the fuck I wanted, girl. She really did, girl. But, bitch, hold on. But, bitch, hold on. How about I look like pink? When I pull my pants off the wrong way, when I just try to flip them shits off inside out, girl, and just try to pull them off like that, I'd be on the floor looking just like pink with the struggle, girl, trying to get free. Could you just, could you just come off so I can, I need to, it's, can you just get off so I can go, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Can you get off me? I need to go to the goddamn bathroom. Oh, fuck. Oh, what the hell? Oh, huh, huh, oh, I need to, oh, just give me a reason just a little bit is enough. Oh, what did what is it doing? Oh fuck! Oh shit! Okay, almost got it. Almost got it. Almost free. Just give me one leg, if you could. Just give me one. Can I have one leg free? Just one free leg. Is there someone who can help me? Is there is there a number I can call? But bitch, hold on. But bitch, hold on. But bitch, hold on. Bitch, hold on. Did you see when Pink picked up that grown ass man? Did you see when Pink? Picked up that grown ass man and not just any old grown ass man, even though picking up a grown ass man in itself is impressive. This bitch picked up a grown ass he man, muscle bound, Hercules looking nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just picked his ass up and like, come here, boy. I got you. Shut the fuck up. Don't cry. Stop crying. I got you. You ain't gonna fall. You ain't gonna fall. Shut the fuck up. I got you. Stay right there. Stay right there like that. That bitch just picked him up and just manhandled his ass. She turned on her top Shafir girl. She turned on her top Shafir girl. And when y'all may not know what the top Shafir is, let me just real quick explain what top Shafir is, girl. Top Shafir is my alter ego in the bedroom. So out in public, you know what I'm saying, girl, I give you flared arms and attitude and cunt, darling, you know what I'm saying? I give you all of that, you know what I'm saying? I give you twerked booties and booty clapping, girl, out in public, girl. But when I get into the bedroom and it's time to fuck down, girl, I turns on my top Shafir's. Shut the fuck up. Shut your, shut your ass up. Put your motherfucking head down. Shut the fuck up. You gonna be alright. Take that dick. You know what I'm saying? I turn into top Shafir's and I tops that ass, girl. But when I'm done, I'm like, whoo, that cum shot was crazy, girl. Let me get you the towel girl where is that towel i'm so sorry <laughs> hey perry's performance girl that has to be the first time i ever just giggled at a performance she went to do some type of hip-hop choreography girl and it was just all off beat just wasn't it girl i was just sitting there like <laughs> the fuck is she but girl i just don't get katie perry's image you know what i'm saying like every time i see her i'm like it's, it's like she hasn't found her image yet you know her she's so contrived when she comes out it's like she's trying to be this whimsical gaga not quite gaga thing like i don't get it girl i'm just like girl what are you giving me girl what who is Katy perry like who are you bitch spend some time figuring out who you are like what was this, this is supposed to be a cross at first, I thought it was like the British flag. Then I was like, oh, it's a cross because her father was a preacher. Okay, I get it. Whatever. But girl, what was Katy Perry trying to give me during that performance? 
What was she trying to give me during that performance, girl? Because that whole Halloween theme was the carry, girl. That was the carry of the night, girl. I was kind of infused, bitch. Like, I get it. Christmas in July. I've heard of that, bitch. But Halloween in January, bitch? The fuck are you trying to give me, girl? It was like Katy Perry Court, the only after Halloween sale, bitch. You know, when they take everything come November 1st that didn't sell during the Halloween season, all the candies and the decorations, and they stick it in one aisle, mark everything down to damn near free, and be like, blue light special aisle one. Yes, bitch, and I am dating my shopping experience, bitch. Because the bitch has been shopping since blue light specials, Bradley's, Cal Doors, A&S, and Alexander's, darling. Yes, I have, bitch. Yes, ma'am, girl. And I'm talking, not a blue light special, girl. I'm talking like when they used to roll a motherfucking blue light into an aisle cut that shit on girl and that's where the sale was girl and that's back when I used to shop with my mother girl and your mother would grab your motherfucking arm when she saw that light come on and she would run top motherfucking speed you'd just be holding on like this your feet wouldn't even be touching the ground like woo we go to another blue light sale I love shopping with my mother girl when I tell you girl Fish used to flock to a blue light motherfucking sale like moss to a flame girl that fucking light would come on and them bitches was like Thundercats. And it would be out, girl. Yes, ma'am, girl. That was the good old days, girl. I had fun shopping with my mother. Girl, is it just me? But have you noticed that Stevie Wonder and Paul McCartney will perform at the opening of a fucking envelope? Like every award show, every event, everything that fucking happens. Stevie Wonder, Paul McCartney. Every time. Girl, I just want to take them last four ingrown dreads out of Stevie Wonder's head, girl. I just want to take some tweezers and just pluck them sh shits the fuck out his head, girl. Just let me get them last four ingrown dreads, girl. Whew. Just rock the baldy, girl. Just rock the fucking baldy. The Grammys wants to win a Grammy. They all want to win a Grammy. Some of them for the first time ever. They all want to get a Grammy that they can put on their mantle and shit. And they can have it prominently displayed. And they can show everybody, like, this is my achievement. I've done this. You know, I'm happy. This is my Grammy. You know what I'm saying? The fucking Carter family. Jay-Z's like, Blue, I'm bringing this home so that you can use it as a sippy cup. The fuck? He's like, I'm a, the bitch is drinking out of Grammys, okay? Blue drinks out of Grammys, okay? What is Sierra's daughter going to do, girl? Just put her hands together like a cup and just form a cup like this and you <sighs> My mama don't have no Grammys. <sighs> you got to drink it fast or it'll fall through your fingers. <sighs> the final performance of the night, Macklemore, Queen Latifah, and Madonna. Girl, it was everything. Girl, I was a bag of tears, girl. I was a bag of tears. Macklemore's song, I love that song. I love that he had the courage to make that song. I appreciate that he made that song, girl. I love it, girl. And I'm just coming off the heels of hearing about an attack on a gay man in Midtown. In Midtown, girl. This just happened like a few weeks ago. I think it was on the 17th. He was attacked for being gay. They beat him up. Damn near unconscious. He can't remember what happened, girl. And I hate to be this person. I hate to say this because every time I hear people say it, I'm like, why would you say that? That's just ridiculous. Why would you live in that type of world? But girl, you just don't think that stuff like that happens here. You just don't think that it happens here because I live. we live in the melting pot. It's the melting pot. All backgrounds, all cultures, all religions, all sexualities, all in the same spot, especially in our city. So it's just hard to believe that 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 type of crime, that type of hate crime is happening here. But it is. It is. And I hope they find the motherfucker that beat this man up. I hope they find him, lock him up, and I hope some big nigga named Butch butt fucks him for the rest of his fucking life. Raw, dry, no condom, girl. And just busts his side of his ass on a regular fucking basis, girl. I hope to God that happens to him, girl. But anyhow, girl, on another note, girl. Queen Latif. So, on another note, Queen Latifah, she came out and she read the vows for, I think it was like 33 couples, right? All different types of love. All different types of love. Gay, straight, lesbian, um, interracial, all different types of love. Just right there. And she's renewing her vows, girl. And that shit touched me right here, girl. And I know it touched the queen because you saw it. You saw the queen get emotional, girl. And I thought... I thought Queen Latifah was getting ready to tell me something, girl. I thought she was getting ready to just let it out. I thought she was just uh, uh, just going to say it, girl. But she didn't. She didn't. I think she would have said it. But fucking Madonna. This goofy bitch comes in with this big ass hat and this fucking pimp cane and interrupts her with, Open your heart to me, darling, I'll give you love. And I'm like, Sophia, 
You know what I'm saying? Carry your ass back through them damn doors and let the queen finish talking, girl. What I would have done differently with that last performance, I just would have arranged it differently. I would have done Macklemore, Madonna, and then Latifah at the end. And then let that be the ending, girl. I wouldn't have put Latifah, because Latifah, girl, she was having a moment, girl. She was having a moment. And Madonna was just, like, that foolish shit Madonna came out in, girl. Like, bitch, you've already given me that look with music, girl. What are you doing right now? You look foolish. Uh, Lori's performance, girl. I thought I was watching The Ring 3. I thought I was watching The Ring 3. Girl, I backed up from my TV. I was like, this bitch about to come through this screen, girl. She was like, it'll never be right. Oh. I'm like, this bitch about to come through the screen, girl. I don't say ring one and two, bitch. I know what happens now, bitch. She coming through, girl. Cut that TV off. Let's get the fuck up out of here, girl. Darling, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. You're not going to tell me that Lori or Lordy or whatever the fuck her name is, is 17 years old. Oh, no, ma'am. I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that. First of all, the bitch about the mug, girl, about the mug, she looked like she could have been Willie Nelson's fucking prom date, okay? Then when she got up on stage and she got up to the mic, bitch, that bitch sounded like a British B author, okay? Her voice was all deep as shit. She was like, bitch. I'm like, oh, no, man, bitch. Oh, no. Kendrick Lamar's performance, girl. I really don't have much to say about it, girl. It was cute. It was cute. No shade. No shade. It was cute. It was cute. No shade. I liked it, girl. You know what I'm saying? But my favorite part of it was when Terry just Monica lewinsky all over him. You know what I'm saying? When Terry, at the end, just Monica lewinsky all on his gown, darling. I was like, yes, girl. Y'all know who Terry is? Terry is the, the heavyset, uh, middle-aged Elmo from Sesame Street. Y'all know who Terry is. So Terry just uh, Monica lewinsky all on his gown. I was like, yes, Terry. I always knew you was one of the girls. Girl, Taylor Swift was cracking me up last night. I was like, bitch, have fun, girl. You know what I'm saying, bitch? Have fun, girl. Taylor Swift had me on the floor, girl. She was acting like, you know how you have that friend that don't never go out? So you take her out for the first time in a long time. That bitch have two drinks and swear she drunk. Ooh, girl, I can feel this, girl. I feel it. It's like, bitch, you only had two drinks, girl. And they were some watered down drinks from motherfucking TGIF Fridays, girl. You don't feel shit. Shut up. But anyway, the girl like, I feel this, girl. She just fucking start acting out and fucking she all over the place dancing around like white girls going wild and shit, girl. That's who Taylor Swift was reminding me of, girl. Like the bitch that don't never go out, but you take her out for the first time in a long time, girl. She got me. I was like, bitch, enjoy yourself. Double step up and go. Hmm.